So the million dollar question is, how do you find the right SEO firm then? You see, I travel around the world to learn about SEO and help local businesses at the same time. So I do get a lot of feedbacks from business owners from all over the world to help me understand what actually works in the real world. Okay, so having a website ranked number one only solves probably about 75% of the equation. The remaining 25% comes from things like bad website structure. So it can be things like uh, not having a proper call to action above the phone, which means the uh, real estate that you, you see without scrolling down from your browser and having a poor follow-up system from your sales team, okay? Or, you know, just merely having under-trained staff to handle inquiries, okay? Because for all I know, you can be generating tons and tons of inquiries, but you have, if you have uh, a receptionist that, that is not properly trained uh, in terms of your products and services, you could be throwing money down the drain by generating those leads, okay? Or the fact that you have a bad sales copy to begin with, which means you're not gonna get generate any types of leads or sales from your website or whatsoever, okay? And of course, there are other elements, right? So having your website ranked number one doesn't necessarily guarantee more revenue in your business, right? Now, I've been highly successful with spotting all businesses' weak spots by being more than just an SEO firm because I spent time, like I mentioned earlier, to further understand businesses from all over the world based on my clients and people that I've spoken to, what actually works for them and what actually uh, didn't work for them, okay? Because SEO is worthless if you can't generate leads from your website. So here are the top three tips to hire the right SEO agency. Number one, look out for one size fits all price SEO or low prices. Now, be honest with me. Do you really believe your online business can be fixed or improved for a mere $150 a week? That's less than what a part-time McDonald's employee would earn. Okay? Number two, just because someone works in a computer field does not mean that they know SEO, right? Now, the biggest mistake business owners make is assuming that their web development team or IT guy know something about SEO. Now, 99% of them don't have a clue what SEO means or how to go about doing optimization for your website, right? So if your current staff or team hasn't taken your website to page one, then chances are they just don't know how to do it, right? Because web designers serve an important purpose but when it comes down to SEO and to the nitty-gritty of SEO, they, they are just a mere architect, right? And finally, make sure SEO is their full-time profession because you don't let your business be the test subject of a beginner, right? You don't want to be the, in other words, you want to be the guinea pig, right? Because there's more than 60% of search engine optimization firms out there that outsource their work to third parties. So essentially, they are like a middleman. They, um, the, the bigger the agencies, the, the more layers of staff members that they gotta fit. So essentially, even if they charge a premium price, the amount they actually get paid to do the work is actually less than probably half of what you're paying, right? That's the truth, okay? and. If you're serious about taking your business to the next level and if you feel like um, this is right for you and you're sick of dealing with mediocre results, then click on the orange button below and fill up a, a, a short form to schedule a private discussion with me personally. Okay, once you've done that and you know, we'll take it from there and then we'll come up with a uh, device, a custom plan of attack for your business right because i don't believe in a one size fits all solution right so spots are limited because i you know i can only deal with a limited number of clients and i prefer to, to provide quality results than to cut corners and deal with as many clients as i can and squeeze the max 
out of it, right? I prefer to provide quality results for all my clients so that I can uh, continue to serve my clients and provide good results for them so that they can their business can flourish from there, right? So thanks again for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.